Gordon's fire. Pip and Emma were delighted to be able to run past time to London. Gordon would have to stop for water. They didn't need to. suspicious about it. Proper engines can't work without water, he kept saying. It's sabotage, that's what. Diesel and electric engines don't need water, Pip and Emma tried to explain. We don't have to make steam like you do. But Gordon wasn't convinced. Does the other railway have electric trains? Asked Henry. Like the ones that go up past our mountain railway? Some are like that, said Emma. Some are pulled by electric engines. That silenced Henry. For a while. Gordon's last train each day stopped at all stations. He liked this because he didn't have to hurry and get hot and bothered. One evening, however, the ladies on the other rail were making late. Gordon at last, he drew into the station where the electric light was. slid silently off the branch line and stopped it under the platform. It caught Gordon's attention as it made no noise and no steam. Beyond the station, a busy road crossed under the railway. Gordon was about to leave when he heard a shout in front of him. A man appeared, scrambling up the bank near the bridge. A wisp of smoke rose behind him. The man ran towards the station, waving his arms. Help! He yelled. Fire! A porter ran to telephone for the fire brigade. Gordon's firemen asked permission from the signalman, and carefully they worked the train forward. They stopped near the bridge. Smoke bellowed from a bale of straw that lay on the roadside verge. A tractor and a trailer stood nearby. Got the straw off before the rest went up, gasped the tractor driver. Now we must wait for the fire brigade. Tongues of flame curled around the edges of the straw bale, and the smoke grew thicker. Can't we do something? urged Gordon, giving a poop of alarm. We certainly can, said his fireman. Grab the hose pipe he used to wash the footplate with water from the tender. Then he turned the tap, and when the water was running, he pointed the hose pipe at the burning straw. It wasn't a very strong jet of water, but it was enough. Slowly the flames died down, and the tractor driver stamped out the remaining embers. At that moment, the fire brigade arrived. Sorry, the tractor driver explained. I'm afraid you've had a bit of a wasted journey. Gordon has put the fire out with water from his tender. The fire chief laughed. Well done, Gordon. A good job you were standing by. Gordon was very proud. And prouder still when the fire chief recommended him for the Queen's Fire Service Medal. The fat controller arranged a special presentation at the big station. Electric engines may be able to run fast with no noise, said Gordon. These steam engines have our uses too. 